Hello, hello, namaste, peace and blessings. Thank you so much for joining. We are going to get started here on this St. Patrick's Day evening. Thanks so much again for joining. And I ask that we find our bodies in a comfortable seated pose. I am going to come into a half lotus. May you find any easy seat that feels good for you. As we are using our easy seat to help ground and relax our bodies here today. Ensuring that our tummies are nice and tight. Our spinal cords are nice and elongated here, meaning we are not sunken down. We have control of our bodies. Our shoulders are relaxed downward away from our ears. This allows the upper parts of our bodies to relax. As we gaze our eyes down or close our eyes. As we breathe in deeply. Exhale fully. Taking a moment to notice how the breath feels within the body. As we breathe our palms at heart center, coming into a seated prayer. Maybe allowing our thumbs to touch our sternum if that feels good for us. As we use this pose, our seated prayer, to go inward, relax, and soothe. May we hang out here for four breaths of silent meditation. Two more breaths. As we breathe our palms above our heads, coming into a seated salute, fingertips reaches up towards the heavens, feeling that stretch, shoulders flows up towards the ears, allowing that spine to get nice and elongated here. Maybe we can interlace our hands together with our pointer finger pointing up towards the heavens. Heart chakra is open, chin is slightly up. As we allow our arms to slightly flow towards the back, Feeling this slight back bend here, and we're going to hang out here for three breaths. Two breaths. Exhale to center as we separate our palms. We are channeling in positivity, hope, and inspiration. With our chin slightly up, maybe take a notice of how we are feeling right here in this present moment. May we take notice of what we need and what we want. What is a necessity, what we can wait for, and what is needed in this present moment? As we gaze our eyes down, may we go inward for three breaths. Two breaths. Taking a notice of how our arms are already starting to feel tired simply by holding our arms up. We are working and we are building strength and toning our arms simply by sitting in this channeling position. As we take notice of this pose, may we bring our palms separated a little bit more, coming into a star. We are now in our seated star. We are opening up that heart chakra a little more. Chin is up. As we breathe in, twist the body towards the right, allowing the palms to come downward towards the earth. We're going to gaze over that right shoulder. We are in our seated twist, right side. Allowing this twist to relax and soothe our spinal cord as we hang out here for three more breaths. Two breaths. Exhale back to center, flowing into that star, twisting our bodies to the left, palms flow downward towards the earth as we gaze over that left shoulder. Spinal twist, opposite side. We're going to hang out here, relaxing and soothing. Three more breaths. Two breaths. Exhale back to center, flowing into that star as we flow to our salute. Exhale to prayer. Relaxing the body. We're going to find our bodies on our hands and our knees, coming into a tabletop pose. Ensuring that our knees are hip distance apart. We're going to drop down to our cow. Turn it slightly up. Exhale to cat. Flowing back to our cow. Exhale to cat. Coming back to our table. 
as we push our bodies up to our down dog, we are gazing at our feet. Maybe we are walking our dog by moving our feet left and right, if that feels good for you. <sighs> Taking a notice of how this feels, our tummies are tight. Two more breaths. As we find our pause, shifting our bodies forward, coming into that high plank. We're going to hang out here, building strength. Three breaths. Two breaths. As we exhale to a low plank or a chaturanga, hovering over our yoga mat. Two more breaths. Exhaling down to our Spanx pose. We are on our tummies. And we are relaxing here on our forearms. Shoulders are melted away from our ears. A lot of time in Spanx pose, we sunk our shoulders towards our ears. But we want to have control of our bodies with our chin slightly up, gazing our eyes down or closing our eyes. As we breathe in deeply, exhale. Allowing the body to relax and soothe here in our Spanx pose for three more breaths. Two breaths. As we bring our palms next to our torso, we're gonna come into a cobra pose, maybe a baby cobra with our elbows slightly bent, pushing our torso away from the earth. We are in our cobra as we, well, we are in our baby cobra as we flow to our cobra, straightening out our elbows. Our torsos are further away from the earth, chin slightly up. Two more breaths. Exhale, down dog. Gazing at our feet. Finding our pause as we flow to a three-legged dog. Breathing that right leg up in the air nice and high. Gazing back at our foot. Exhaling our knee to our elbow. Feeling that tummy crunch. Back to three-legged. Knee to elbow. Back to three-legged. Knee to elbow. Back to three-legged. Two more breaths. Building strength. Exhale, down dog. We're going to walk our dog by pedaling our feet. Our bodies are getting nice and warm here. We're going to keep on flowing. Finding our paws. Three-legged, opposite side. Left leg goes in the air. Mm. Gazing at that foot. Mm. Exhaling, knee to elbow. Back to three-legged. Knee to elbow. Back to three-legged. Knee to elbow. Back to three-legged. Mm. Two more breaths. Exhale, down dog. As we flow down to our dolphin pose, coming on to our forearms, buttocks comes high in the air. As we walk our feet closer towards our torso. Noticing that when we walk our feet closer towards our torso, our buttocks comes higher in the air. This dolphin pose is a headstand prep pose. May we hang out here for four more breaths. Maybe pulsing up and down on our tippy toes if that feels good for us. Building strength in our forearms. Two more breaths. Finding our paws, we're gonna drop down to our knees and we're gonna come into a wide-legged child's pose. Allowing our torso to relax between our thighs. Heart chakra comes towards the earth. Our third eye chakra, our forehead connects to the earth. With our arms extended in front of us, we are in an extended Child's pose, if that feels good. With our eyes gazed down, may we breathe in deeply. Exhale fully. Allowing the torso to relax and melt forward into the earth. 
And if we choose, we can breathe our palms above our heads, coming into a prayer hand, child's pose. Hmm. Breathe in. Exhale. Allowing our extended or our prayer hands child pose relax and soothe our mind and our body. As we hang out here, going inward for five breaths of silent meditation. Three more breaths. If we are in our prayer hands, child's pose, may we extend our palms in front of us, extending our arms in front of us, palms flat on the earth. We're going to spinal wave our bodies out of this child's pose. Using our palms to push our bodies forward and using our palms to push our buttocks towards our heels. And we are spinal waving. You may feel this throughout your spinal cord. And we can add our neck, our cervical spine into the rotation. This way we can relax and soothe our entire spine. Two more breaths, spinal waves. As we find our pause, we are back in our table. May we drop down to our cow. Exhale to cat. Flowing back to that table. As we push our bodies up to our down dog, we are gazing at our feet. Maybe we are walking our dog here by pedaling our feet left and right. Two breaths. As we find our paws, we're going to walk our feet towards our hands, coming into a complete forward fold. Maybe breathe in deeply. Exhale. Taking a moment to notice that this complete forward fold is a full body stretch. Allowing our head to relax downward towards the earth. Allowing our eyes to gaze down to close if that feels good for us. As we hang out and soothe here, four breaths. Mm. Two more breaths. Mm. Exhale to half forward fold, chin slightly up. Breathe down, complete forward fold. Exhale to half. As we breathe to our mountain pose, our tadasana palms are at our side. Mm. As we are standing here in our mountain, we are grounded. We are planted within our environment here. We are soothed. We are relaxed. Maybe we can pedal our feet left and right. If this feels good for you. We are simply opening up our hips, working on our body, seeing how we feel. As we find our pause, we are in our Tadasana, mountain pose, palms at our side. Heart chakras open, chin slightly up. Relaxing those shoulders downward away from the ears here. As we breathe our palms above our heads in our standing salute. Fingers are interlaced, allowing our arms to slightly blow towards the back, feeling this slight back bend. Two breaths. Exhale back up to that salute. We're going to separate our hands coming into an extended mountain. In our extended mountain, our palms are in our channeling position here. We are channeling in what we need. We are channeling it in what is soothing, what is beneficial for us. What has good intentions for us? May we channel that in here in our extended mountain. We have our palms and our head in the air, in the heavens, in the universe as our feet are grounded to the earth. So we are grounded, but we are also lifted. As we breathe our palms to our salute, 
Exhale into our prayer. Breathe in our palms at heart center. Relaxing those shoulders downward away from the ears. As we gaze our eyes downward or close our eyes, we are going inward. We are taking this time to focus on us to see what we need in this moment. Simply being aware without judgment, simply noticing. With our palms at heart center, may we take a couple of breaths to go inward and self-soothe. Four breaths. Two breaths. With our palms at heart center, may we hinge at the hips coming into that half forward fold. We're going to keep our palms at heart center as we are slightly gaze up, chin is slightly up, and we'll be able to feel that stretch behind our legs and our hamstrings here. We're going to hang out here in our prayer hands, half forward fold, three breaths. Two more breaths. As we softly bend our knees, coming into a chair pose. Tummies tight. Now we are in our chair pose prayer hands. If this feels good for you, we can hang out here or we can extend our palms in front of us here. We can be nice and low in our chair or we can be high. Whatever chair pose feels best for you, four breaths. Two more breaths. As we breathe our palms in that heart center, chair pose twist, right side, gazing at our fingertips, two breaths. Exhale back to center, chair pose twist, opposite side. Exhale back to center. As we flow into our complete forward fold, hands reaches down towards the ankles or the feet. Allowing that head to, re to relax completely downward here. Relaxing and soothing. This complete forward fold is a counter pose to what we just did. Four breaths. Mm. Two more breaths. Exhale to that half forward. As we breathe up to our mountain pose, our Tadasana palms are at our side. As we flow to our salute, breathing to our extended mountain, palms are separated. As we allow our bodies to lean towards the right, standing crescent moon, right side, feeling this side bend. Tummies are tight. And if we choose, we can gaze up at the heavens, opening up their heart chakra. Three breaths. Exhale into center, crescent moon, opposite side. Hmm. Gazing up at the heavens, if that feels good. Two more breaths. Exhale into center in our crescent moon. I'm sorry, we are in our salute. Breathing our palms together here. As we exhale down to our prayer. Relax in the body, flow into our Tadasana. Palms are at our side, mountain pose. As we cuddle our feet, walking our legs left and right. Two more breaths. Finding our pause here, and we're gonna work on balancing. We're gonna work on our tree pose. Starting on the right side, we're gonna allow our right foot to be a kickstand, placing that right heel of our foot on the lower parts of our leg here. We are in our tree pose. And we can hang out here and stand in this tree pose if this feels best for us. Or we can slightly lift that leg upwards, kind of right beneath our knee. Not on our knee, but right beneath our knee. We are a little higher here in this kickstand. Noticing our bodies are balancing here. Our core, meaning our abdominal area, is nice and tight. And if we choose, only if we choose, we can come higher, breathing that right foot inside of that inner thigh here. Now we are in that tree pose. We can keep our palms at our side. We can breathe our palms at heart center. 
We can breathe our palms above our heads in our salute. Whatever you choose here, we're going to hang here and we're going to freestyle in our tree pose for, let's make it five breaths. I am standing in a cactus hands tree pose. May you find any pose for you. Three more breaths. Two breaths. As we slowly relax our feet downward, coming back to that mountain pose, that Tadasana, as we pedal our feet left and right, side by side here. Relaxing and soothing, two breaths. We're gonna find our pause. We are back in that mountain pose and we're gonna tree pose opposite side, allowing the left foot to flow into a kickstand. Balancing and soothing here, we are in our tree. If we choose, we can breathe that leg slightly up, right underneath our, our knee and our inner parts of our legs here. Ensuring that we are not on our kneecaps, we don't wanna cause any injuries. And if we choose, we can breathe that leg upwards in our, we can breathe that foot upwards in our inner thigh. So left foot is up inside of the inner thigh. And we can keep our palms at our side. We can flow into our salute mountain. We can flow into our prayer hands. Whatever you feel is needed for your body here as we are balancing here. We are strengthening here. And to make it five breaths. Three breaths. Two breaths. As we feel our minds and our bodies balance here. Slowly relaxing that foot downward, coming back into that Tadasana, mountain pose. Pedaling our feet left and right, relaxing and soothing our bodies here. Breathe in. Exhale. Finding that pause as we breathe to our salute. Exhale the prayer. Flow into our half forward fold. Two breaths. Breathing down to our complete forward fold. Reaching our palms towards our feet or our ankles. Or connecting our palms to the earth if that feels good. Two more breaths. Breathe in deeply. Exhale fully. We're going to walk our hands forward here, coming into a down dog. Gazing back at our feet. Maybe walking our dog by pedaling our feet. Finding pause, shifting our weight forward, coming into that high plank. Tummies are tight here. As we breathe to our side plank, I'm gonna start on the right side, lifting that left leg, let, lifting that left arm up in the air. Side plank, we are working our obliques here. Building strength, if we choose, we can go into that side plank stretch by extending that left arm over the head, feeling that side stretch. Whatever you choose here in our plank, two more breaths. Exhaling out to our down dog. I'm sorry. Exhaling out. Let's take a flow to the down dog. As we breathe back to that high plank. As we flow to our side plank, opposite side, right arm flows up into the air. Feeling that body stretch and strengthen here, working the obliques. And if we choose, we can extend that right arm over the head, coming into that side plank stretch. Two more breaths. Exhaling out back into that side plank as we flow to our down dog. Exhale back to that high plank. Tummies are tight. Flowing down to a low plank or a chaturanga. Hovering over the yoga mat. Two breaths. 
<sighs> as we flow to our Sphinx pose, coming onto our tummies, relaxing on our forearms. Sphinx pose. This is a relaxing pose. It is also a slight back bend. <sighs> Feeling the body relax. Maybe we can allow our head to relax between our shoulder blades. Going nice and deep into this stretch here. Shoulders are not up towards the ears. We have our shoulders relaxed downward away from the ears. This gives us control of our bodies. Three more breaths. Two breaths. As we flow down to a sleep position, we're gonna cross our palms, our hands in front of us. We're gonna allow our chin or our cheeks or our forehead to relax on our hands. We are in our sleep pose. <sighs> Allowing our torso, our shoulder blades to melt forwards into the yoga mat. Allowing our bodies to relax and soothe here. We're gonna hang out here in this sleep position, going inward, four breaths. Two more breaths. As we slowly awaken from that sleep pose, we're gonna breathe or swim our palms in front of us, coming into that Superman, Supergirl. Palms are off the earth, our feet, our legs are off the earth, and we feel like we are flying. We are in that Superman, Supergirl. Yes, feeling the body working and stretching and strengthening here. Three breaths. Now we don't gotta fly, we can stay still, wherever you choose. Two more breaths. As we swim our hands towards the back, coming into that locust pose, palms are facing up towards the heavens. Our feet are still off the earth. We are in that locust pose. Our torso is slightly off the earth. Three breaths. Two breaths. Mm. Hanging out here in this locust pose, we're gonna hold this pose. We're gonna relax our bodies down, allowing our arms to flow towards the earth. And we're gonna relax on our forehead, our third eye chakra. Allowing those shoulder blades to melt forward. As we breathe in, exhale. We are in our sleeping locust here. We're gonna hang out here, relaxing and soothing for four breaths. Two more breaths. As we slowly awaken from that locust pose, that from that sleeping locust, we're gonna flow back into that locust. We are awakened here. Still in this slight back bend, two breaths. As we flow into a bow pose, maybe coming into a half bow at first, if that feels best, right hand to right ankle, then left hand to left ankle, if that feels good. We are in our bow pose, using our hands to connect to our ankles and lift our torso further from off the earth. This is a deeper back bend. Chin is up. Four breaths. Hmm. Two more breaths. Relaxing the body down. Feet goes downward towards the earth. We're gonna swim my hands forward, coming back into that sleeping pose. We're gonna allow our torso, our shoulders to melt into the earth. Head melts and relaxes on our palms. Sleep pose, four breaths. Mm. Two more breaths.
As we awaken from that sleep pose, we're going to come into our Sphinx pose. Back on our tummies, back on our forearms. Shoulders melted away from the ears. Chin is slightly up. Eyes are closed or gaze down. Three breaths. Two breaths. As we come onto our knees, walking our knees towards our torso, we're going to come into a puppy pose, bringing those knees, thighs towards our tummies, our torso. We're going to extend our arms in front of us with our palms flat on the earth, allowing our torso, our heart chakra to come downward towards the earth. Noticing how our buttocks is nice and high in the air. We are in our puppy pose. Our puppy pose is very similar to a child's pose, but our buttocks is in the air. Or so close towards our thighs. As we gaze down and relax and soothe, we're going to hang out here for breaths. In our extended puppy pose, if we choose, we can breathe our palms together and flow into a prayer hand puppy pose, if that feels good. Three more breaths. Two more breaths. Extending our palms in front of us, may we spinal wave our bodies out of this puppy pose. Spinal wave in the body. Three breaths. Two breaths. As we find our we're coming up to a tabletop pose, dropping down to our cow. Exhale to cat. Flowing back to our table. Crossing our feet at our ankles, we're going to come into a seated pose just for a second. As we flow our bodies to a bound position, we are in our diamond or our butterfly. Our feet are connected together. Spinal cord is nice and elongated here. Breathing our palms to our feet. As we come into a seated cat cow, we're going to start in a cow, opening up that heart chakra, lifting that chin up, allowing the head to relax between the shoulder blades. Cow pose. Two breaths. Exhale into cat, bringing that chin towards the clavicle. Spinal cord goes to the back of the room. Cat pose. Two breaths. Exhale and back to cow. Breathing back to cat. Flowing back to our bow position. Noticing how we feel. Taking our hands to breathe our knees inward. We're going to straighten out our legs coming into a staff pose. Our legs are parallel side by side. Feet are pointing up towards the heavens. Our backs are nice and straight here. Relaxing the shoulders downward away from the ears. As we breathe our palms up to our salute. Exhale to prayer. As we hinge at our hips coming into a half forward fold. Gazing our eyes down as we take a nice deep breath in. Exhale. Lowering the body into a complete forward fold. Connecting the hands to the ankles or the hands to the bottoms of the feet. Whatever feels good for you. Allowing our torso, our heart chakra to come downward towards our thighs. Allowing our head to relax downward towards our knees. This is a full body stretch. May we hang out here and soothe for four breaths. Two more breaths. Exhale into half. As we breathe back to our staff pose, legs are parallel side by side. <sighs> relaxing the body here. We're going to cross our feet at our ankles, coming back to a tabletop pose. <sighs> We're going to drop down to our cow. Exhale to cat. 
flowing back the table. As we take our right arm, breathe it up towards the heavens, feeling that stretch. Nice deep stretch here, breathe in. Exhale, thread the needle, right arm threads through the left, heart chakra comes downward towards the earth, allowing the body to relax and soothe here. And if we choose, we can take this left arm and wrap it around our backs if that feels good for us. Or we can extend this left arm above our heads, palms flat on the earth, child, I'm sorry, um, thread the needle, five breaths. As our shoulder blades are melted forward into the earth, eyes are closed, gaze down. Three more breaths. As we slowly unwrap that arm, if it was wrapped, we're going to unthread that needle, coming back to that table, dropping down to that cow. Exhale to cat. Flowing back to table. As we take that left arm, breathe it up towards the heavens, feeling that stretch. Gazing at our fingers if that feels good. Breathe in. Exhale, thread the needle, left arm threads through the right, heart chakra comes down towards the earth, allowing the body to soothe. Shoulder blades melts into the earth, eyes are gaze down or closed. As we breathe in, exhale, feeling the body relax. And if we choose, we can take that right arm and wrap it around our backs. Or we can extend that right arm above our heads, palms flat on the earth, whatever you choose. Thread the needle, five breaths. Three more breaths. As we unwrap that arm, if it was wrapped, we're going to unthread that needle, finding our bodies back into our table, dropping down to the cow. Exhale to cat. Flowing back to our table. As we come into a sunbird, breathing that right leg towards the back. Noticing how this feels. Both palms are flat on the earth here. Tummies are tight. And once we gain our balance, we can extend that left arm forward if that feels good for us. Right legs to the back, left arm forward. Or we can also, for balance, we can lower our toes downward towards the earth. We are still in our sunbird. Whatever feels best for you, four breaths. Mm. Two more breaths. Exhale back to table, drop into cow, exhale to cat, flow into our table as we sunburn opposite side, bringing that left leg towards the back, feeling that stretch, funny straight. Once we gain our balance, we can extend that right arm forward, gazing forward, hanging out here, holding a pose, keeping in mind for balance, we can lower those toes downward towards the earth. We are still in a sunbird, whatever you choose. Four breaths. Mm. Two more breaths. Building strength. Exhale back to table. Dropping down to cow. Exhale the cat. Flowing back to our table. As we come into a wide-legged child's pose, we're going to re relax. We're going to soothe our bodies here. 
allowing the torso to relax between the thighs. Heart chakra is coming towards the earth. Third eye chakra, our forehead connects to the earth as we breathe in. Exhale. Going inward for five breaths. Three more breaths. Extending our arms in front of us, palms flat on the earth. If they were not already there, we are in our extended child's pose. As we spinal wave our bodies out of this position, feeling this in our entire spine. Three breaths. Two breaths. Finding our pause, coming back to our table, pushing our bodies up to our damn dog, gazing at our feet. Walking our dog by pedaling our feet left and right. Our tummies are nice and tight here. Two breaths. We're going to find our pause here. We're going to breathe our right foot towards our right hand. We are in our runner's lunge, hanging out here for a second. We're going to drop that left knee. We are now in our low lunge. <sighs> hanging out here in low lunge. We can stay here or we can extend our arms above our heads, lifting our torso up, breathing our arms above our heads, palms together. Mm. Fill in this low lunge stretch if that feels good for you. Three breaths. This low lunge prepares the body for split. Two more breaths. Exhaling out, framing that front foot, taking that left knee off the earth. Yes, we're going to breathe this right arm inside of that thigh. We are in our lizard pose prep. But we're not going to flow down to lizard here today. We're going to do an, a revolve twist. We're going to twist our body towards our right leg. Right arm goes up in the air. Feeling that stretch. Hanging out here. Three breaths. Two more breaths. Breathing that palm back inward. We are in our lizard prep. As we twist our bodies to the opposite direction, we are in our low lunge twist here. Left arm goes up in the heavens, gazing at the left fingertips. Low lunge twist. Two more breaths. Exhaling back down to center. Both palms are flat on the earth. I just want to point out, when we twist our bodies towards our right leg, right arm, right arm goes up. This is called a revolve twist. It's a revolve twist because our torso is twisted towards our thigh. When we twist the opposite, it's just called a twist, low lunge twist. <sighs> Exhaling out, coming to a down dog. Walking our dog, pedaling our feet. And we're going to keep on flowing here. We are going to breathe our left foot towards our left hand. Runner's lunge, opposite side. <sighs> Relaxing and soothing the body here. As we lower that right knee downward towards the earth, we are now in our low lunge. We went from that runner's lunge to our low lunge. And if we choose, we can lift our torso away from that thigh, breathing our arms above our heads. We are in this low lunge stretch here. Chin is slightly up. This pose prepares the body for a split. We're going to hang out here for three more breaths. Two more breaths. As we frame that front leg, we're going to take that right knee off the earth, back in that runner's lunge, and we're going to breathe this left arm inside of our thigh. Now we are in our lizard pose prep, but we're not going to flow down to lizard. We're going to go into a revolve twist. Twisting our body towards our left knee, left leg, left arm goes up in the air, revolve twist. Three breaths.
two more breaths. Exhale and back to center, both palms flat on the earth as we twist our bodies towards the right. No lunge twist, gazing up at our right fingers or gazing forward, whatever feels best for you. <sighs> Exhaling the body back down, keeping in mind that when we twist our body towards that thigh, it's a revolve twist. When we twist it in the opposite direction, it is a lunge twist, no lunge twist. In our case right here, right now, as we breathe our bodies back to our down dog, pushing our torso towards our thighs, feeling that nice deep stretch. As we walk our dog by pedaling our feet, finding our paws, dropping down to our dolphin, walking our feet closer to our torso, our buttocks comes high in the air. This prepares our body for headstand. Now, if headstand is in anyone's practice, feel free to flow into headstand. If not, we are gonna stay and hang out here in our dolphin, four breaths. Two more breaths. Dropping down to our knees as we flow into a child's pose or a puppy pose. Whatever pose feels best for you and your body. Heart chakra connects to the earth. Third eye chakra connects to the earth. As we allow our torso to melt into our yoga mat. As we relax and soothe here. Child's pose, puppy pose. Five natural breaths. Hmm. Three more breaths. With our arms extended in front of us, palms are flat on the floor. We're gonna spinal wave our bodies out of this position. Maybe doing three spinal waves. Finding pause at table, crossing our feet at our ankles, coming into a seated pose. Just for a second, we're gonna flow one to our backs, coming into a reclined position, breathing our knees into our chest, hugging our knees into our chest. <sighs> Gazing up at the heavens as we breathe in. Exhale. Lifting our legs up in the air. We are in our legs on the wall pose. As we reach our palms downward to the bottoms of our legs, we're gonna breathe our legs towards our torso. This is a, this is a full body stretch. We're gonna hang out here for three breaths. Exhaling legs back up on the wall, legs on the wall pose. As we breathe our knees inward, hugging our knees into our chest. As we allow our knees to fall towards the left, we are in our reclined spinal twist. Knees fall to the left. We can straighten out our top leg to the right. I'm sorry, to the left if that feels good. <sighs> Breathing our right arm out towards the side like a T. As we gaze over that right foot, Shoulder, or we can gaze up at the heavens, whatever you choose here. Our recline spinal twist. Maybe take a nice deep breath in. Exhale. Allowing our bodies to relax and soothe. Five breaths. Four breaths. <clears throat> Two breaths. Exhale back to center, hugging knees into chest. 
as we allow our knees to fall to the opposite side, right side, we climb spinal twist, <clears throat> left arm goes out to the side like a T, gazing over that left elbow, that left shoulder, or gazing up at the heavens, shoulder blades melts back into the earth, eyes are gazed down or close. Five breaths. We can straighten out that left leg if that feels good. Three more breaths. Exhale back to center, hugging our knees into our chest. <sighs> Lifting our legs up in the air, legs on the wall poles. As we breathe our knees in towards our torso, feet is up in the air. We're going to bring our palms between our thighs, bring them out towards the sides, and connect our palms to our feet. Happy baby. Our hands are connected to our feet. If we choose, we can apply pressure to our feet. Notice the pressure points within our feet. Relaxing and soothing here. And we can hang out here and we can rock from side to side in our happy baby. Using the earth to relax and soothe our spine. Or we can stay still in our happy baby. Whatever you choose. Five breaths. Three breaths. Two breaths. As we breathe our legs up in the air, legs on the wall, reaching our hands downward to the lower parts of our legs, breathing our legs towards our torso, feeling this full body stretch. Our buttocks slightly comes off the earth. Three breaths. Exhale, legs up the wall. Breathing our knees into our chest. Crossing our feet at our ankles. And we're going to do a tummy crunch here. Coming up into a boat pose. We're going to crunch that abdominal muscles here. Yes, feeling that crunch. Tummies get nice and tight. We're going to hold this pose here. We can actually go down a little and come back up. If we choose, going deeper into that abdominal crunch. This is an option. We don't have to do it. Three more breaths if we're doing it. Otherwise, we're just going to hang out in our boat pose. Two breaths. Feeling that tummy burn as we find our pause here in our boat pose. Legs, we can keep our feet crossed in our boat pose if that feels good. Or we can straighten our legs out or come into that full boat. Whatever you choose, five breaths, gazing forward. Backs are nice and straight. Tummies are tight. Three more breaths. <sighs> Breathing our palms inward towards our chest. We're going to pound our hands from side to side here, working our obliques. Further working our core. Five breaths. Going as fast or as slow as we choose. Mm. Feeling the burn here. We got this. Three more breaths. Two breaths. We're going to do a bonus here. Three more breaths. Two breaths. Finding our paws, breathing our knees towards our torso, connecting our hands to our feet. Spinal cords are nice and long here. We're going to flow back to a bow position, diamond or butterfly. Just using this pose to relax and soothe the body. This is a counter to what we just did. We're going to slightly hinge at the hips, coming into that diamond or butterfly half forward fold. Torso comes closer towards the feet. And if we choose, we can allow... If we choose, we can allow our head to relax downward towards our feet, coming into a forward fold. 
only going down as much as your body comfortably allows you to do so. Three more breaths. Shoulder blades melt forward. Two more breaths. Exhale to center, coming into that diamond or that butterfly. Just for a second. We're going to breathe our hands and our feet together again. Bringing our feet into our hands. Playing with our feet in our hand. Lifting our legs up and down. Tummies are tight. Yes, we are still working our abdominal muscles here. Backs are straight. Four breaths. Two more breaths. Finding our pause, we're going to extend that left leg out towards the side. We are in our boat pose variation. Feeling that stretch right here behind our hamstrings. Two more breaths. Breathing that leg back in. We're going to breathe that right leg out to the side. Boat pose variation, opposite side. Feeling that in our hamstrings here behind our thighs. Exhaling back inward. If all is well, we're going to try that one more time. Bringing that left leg out towards the side. Tummy's tight as we breathe that right leg out towards the side. Now we are in that full boat pose variation. Gazing forward, tummy's tight. Keeping in mind that our backs should be nice and strong and long. If our backs are sunken, we might fall over. So always have a control of that back. And we can widen this stance if that feels good for you. Coming deeper in that stretch is just an option. Or we can breathe those legs inward. Whatever feels best for you here. Three more breaths. Two breaths. Exhaling those legs back in, coming into a diamond or a butterfly. <sighs> Flowing into a cow. Heart chakras open, chin is up. Head relaxes between the shoulder blades. Exhale to cat. Flowing back to our diamond or our butterfly. As we position our feet to come into a cow face. So we are in our cow face now, relaxing and soothing. We're going to connect our hands to our feet, applying pressure to the pressure points of our feet here. As we know, our feet carries us everywhere we need to go. So may we take a little time to show our feet some love and affection. Simply just applying pressure to whatever you feel is needed. Four breaths. Two breaths. As our shoulders are relaxed downward away from our ears, our tummies are nice and tight here. Our spinal cords are nice and elongated. As we take a nice deep breath in, exhale. Breathing our palms at heart center, ensuring that our facial muscles are nice and relaxed here. As we take a couple of breaths of silent meditation. Breathe in deeply. Exhale fully. I would like to thank, I would like to take this time to thank you all for allowing me to practice self care with you here today. For it truly is a blessing. And for in a busy, busy world, it is a beautiful thing when we make time for self care. It is a beautiful thing when we make time for self. 
And I would just like to thank you so much for allowing me to practice self-care with you here today, for it truly, truly is a blessing. The light in me sees, appreciates, and respects the light in you. Namaste. Thank you so much for joining. I hope you have a great evening. Peace and blessings. Until next time. Thank you.